see. Okay, you guys, so welcome to our Saturday yoga class. Um, as we always do, we'll start in a comfortable seat and then we'll end laying down on the mat. But if you want to, for either one of those things, sit up onto a couch or in a chair just to get yourself a little more comfortable, then feel free to do that. So some of you guys may have gotten the newsletter this morning that was talking about um, the phrase established in being perform action. Now that's from the Bhagavad Gita, which is one of the texts that yoga is actually based upon. There are a few texts, um, and it, it actually goes all the way back to the Vedas, which I'm kind of doing this in-depth study of. But, you know, in general terms, what that means is the reason, one of the reasons, my main reason for continuing to show up to practice day after day and meditate daily and do these things, you know, my motives when I first started was to, you know, look better and to you know, lose weight and have the yoga body and all that. And now, you know, a decade plus later, my motive is so that I can not act like an asshole <laughs> in my daily life, right? So that's simplicity established in being perform action. Do your practice so that you can have access to your intuition and your full brain, you know, so we don't act out of our amygdala. We don't act out of those stress chemicals that we build up in our bodies. So our practice is just this amazing way to get rid of the stress that we've been hiding and, and holding in our body for years and years, and then to reduce those stress chemicals, to just let them go. And then we, we end up sometimes, not, not every single time, but most of the time I end up after practice just with this clear, calm feeling. And I like to describe that as being, right? So established in being, then perform action. So we can, sometimes if we have a difficult decision to make um, and we're kind of covered up in fear, the best thing to do is to step away from that and, and practice, right? Meditate, do some yoga, relax, do some deep breathing. Um, that is what will be more help, helpful to us than like jumping into a quick decision. So, all right, that's today's Dharma. Um, let's go ahead and get established in being. So find yourself a comfortable seat and allow your eyes to rest closed. And let's just take a couple of exhale, releasing breaths just to clear the energy, let go of, as we say, anything that does not serve us, serve our highest good, highest purpose. And then just begin to settle into that cool, calm place of being, which is within the breath. So beginning to breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. And as you settle into your breathing, we just do our best to stay with the inhale as it is coming in. And then stay with that exhale as it is going out. And if it feels right to you, you can give your breath a little bit of a rhythm, a pattern, so that it's equal inhales to exhales. So you can just count that inhale in for maybe a count of four. And then count your exhale out, same count. Again, settling into that rhythm. And as you do that, you can just let there be some ease in your face. So perhaps letting your forehead broaden, your jaw unclench and relax. The shoulders just melt down. Those elbows nice and heavy. And just settling into your body, into this place. Again, letting yourself just be, just relax. Letting go of people, places, things. Just being right here. And then with this nice gentle breath, as you allow yourself to settle here, maybe whisper a kind word to yourself or even set an intention for your practice today. 
perhaps to let go of that action part, let go of the worry, let go of the to do and settle into the be, right? Just allow yourself to really settle into that just for now. You can pick up the action later after Shavasana, but just for now, settle into being. And then if that intention feels right for you, let that settle into your heart space here. You can set a completely different one. And then when you're ready, bring your palms together. Let thumbs rest right at the heart center, Anjali Mudra. And then sealing in that intention. And then when you're ready, take a big inhale, hold the breath in. And then exhale, just release nice and gently. And then when you're ready, go ahead and ease the palms down, let the hands rest on the knees. And then just let's circle the shoulders a little bit here. So get everything moving the shoulders. We always say that term, the weight of the world on your shoulders. So just allow that to roll off this morning. If that's a nice visualization for you, just goodbye. <laughs> And then when you're ready, go ahead, reverse, moving in the other direction. Nice. What is that AOL where they used to say goodbye? Right, I can't remember where that comes from, but say that to <laughs> that need to carry the weight around with you. <laughs> nice little mantra to keep there. Good, and then let your shoulders relax. Let's take a big inhale, sweep the arms up. And then exhale, thumbs come down to heart center. A couple more of those, big inhale, reach and stretch the arms up. Exhale, thumbs come down. And then last one, inhale, reaching up. And then exhale, thumbs come down. Awesome. Let's get into the neck a little bit. So just bring your hands down beside you. You can touch them on the earth. Bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. Just kind of hang there. You close your eyes. Let those shoulders hang nice and heavy. You may have said, oh, I didn't know the left side of my neck <laughs> had anything there until now. So you may choose just to stay here. If you want to, you can just gently levitate the left palm a little bit off the earth. If that's too much strain in the left side of your neck, then don't worry about it. You can also kind of like move your head around, nodding yes or even nodding no, or just be perfectly still and let the breath kind of do all of the work. And just a couple more breaths here. Finding stillness or movement, levitation of the left hand or not. Good. One more big inhale, one more big exhale. Awesome. Good. Bring your head back to center. Ooh, let's bring hands to the knees again. Circle those shoulders around. Let all that fluid kind of move around. Good. And then we'll reverse. Move the other way. Nice. And back to center. Let's bring the hands down again. And then this time, left ear, left shoulder, pausing there. You might choose to, based on how the right side of your neck feels, just let the right hand rest or you can levitate it a little bit. And again, you can move the neck a little bit or you can be still, nodding yes, nodding no, whatever feels best. Just breathe deeply. Good. Give yourself permission to be here, to be in this space. Nice, couple more breaths. Good, one more big inhale, one more big exhale. Nice, and then head all the way back to center, hands down on those knees, and then one more time circling. Letting all those fluids come through. Ooh. And then moving the other way. Nice, let's go ahead and make our way to the mat. If you're not already there, we'll go ahead and get on into that table pose, start to move through a little bit of cat-cow. So 
pad your knees up with a blanket if your knees are feeling sensitive and then just move here inhale belly drops down exhale spine rounds just kind of going back and forth between those two places breathing as you go and i always like to do the inhale to drop belly down and the exhale to round but if changing that up switching that up a little bit sounds like something you would enjoy doing then just feel free to do it again remember we are doing our best to stay out of the action worrying thinking just experiencing and being good and then we're going to do a little bit more for neck and shoulders so go ahead drop to a neutral table you're going to bring your left hand to the floor right underneath your nose and then reach and stretch the right arm up and then we'll circle that arm around so as you come here try to just move from that shoulder joint i know it's asking a lot try to make sure your left elbow doesn't lock out and then reverse moving the other way Keep the breath nice and fluid. So when we start moving into positions we're not used to, the natural response is for the breath to stop or slow or speed, but to definitely not stay even. <laughs> Good. And then reach that right arm up. We're going to bring that right shoulder to the floor here. Thread the needle, and then you do whatever works best for you with the left hand. So you can Bring the left hand to the floor. You can wrap it around onto the right side of your waist. So just figure out where you want to be, what feels best, and then just breathe into it. In and out of the nose. Good. Going back to that even pace with your breath. Nice. Let's bring the left hand to the floor. And then we'll reach that right arm up a nice counter stretch. And then go ahead, come back to table and just cat cow a little bit here. Letting that first little stretch just integrate into the spine. Good. And then when you're ready, this time we're gonna put that right palm to the floor and then reach and stretch that left arm up. Big open stretch here. And then nice big circles with the left arm. So it doesn't matter which direction that you choose. Just kind of pick one. Breathe with it. Awesome. And then reverse, moving in the other direction. Some nice circling of that shoulder joint, breathing deeply. Good. And then let's reach the left arm up, big stretch, and then exhale. Go ahead and bring the left shoulder down onto the earth. You can do whatever again you want with that right hand where you just feel the most supported. So deep in the breath into where you are and then as many times as you need to giving yourself permission to just be here you can have a little aol lady in your head when the <laughs> thoughts come in goodbye right don't need it okay take a couple more breaths Nice. Go ahead and plant the right palm on the earth. Give that left arm a nice big counter stretch. And then bring the left hand down. Let's again move the spine a little bit just to integrate what we just did. Nice. And then let's go back into a child's pose just for a moment to just stretch the back. Bring your forehead to the earth. 
If you're uncomfortable here, just in a straight up child's pose, you can always take a pillow between the calf muscles and the thighs, okay? So just make sure that you're able to get your head below your heart, however you gotta do that. Breathe in and out of your nose. Good. And then let's come back up to the table. And this next thing we do, you're either just gonna hang out here in table or you're gonna curl those toes under and lift yourself up and back into a down dog. So just do whichever feels the most supportive to you today. So I always say sometimes you can do a pose physically, but your body just maybe isn't in the mood <laughs> particular day. So from either down dog or table, you're gonna take your right leg, reach it up back behind you, bend the knee, open up the hip. So if you're in table, just make sure your elbows are not locking out, keep your neck nice and long. If you're in down dog, a little bitty bend in that left knee and then pull the left hip crease back a little bit, awesome. And then let's go ahead and step the right foot through between the hands, go ahead and lower your left knee. Okay, and then bring your hands up on top of the right knee here. And then just make sure your right foot and your left knee are about hip width apart. Curl your left toe under and then just kind of tuck tailbone a little bit here, good. And then bring the hands up on top of the right knee. So keep your tailbone tucked, your glute engaged there on the left side. And then just a little rock back and forth. You're really gonna feel that on the front of the left hip. The so as this is just a nice mobility exercise to open up the fight flight muscle or so as. So try to breathe gently into it. Mine is being a little stubborn this morning. Good, and then let's kind of back out of that a little bit and then just find a regular lunge here. So reach and stretch those arms up. Nice deep breaths in and out of your nose, relaxing shoulders, face and jaw. Good. And then hands down to frame the right foot. We'll move into baby Hanuman. So wiggle that right heel forward, flex the right foot, hands right underneath your shoulders, and just fold. So folding over the right leg, breathing in and out of the nose. Let yourself just relax and be. Awesome. Good. Do whatever you can do to just let go of the tension in the neck, shoulders, face. If you need to grab some little makeshift props there from home to take underneath your hands so that the earth is not super far away, then just do that. One more nice fold. And then bend into the right knee, bring your hands to the floor, and then let's just come all the way down to the belly. Bring your thumbs right there in line with your chest, tops the feet to floor, shoulders together on the back, inhale, cobra. And then exhale back, child's pose. Five breaths here, so really inhabit this space. The essence of being is just can I feel my forehead on the floor? Can I feel that texture below my forehead? Can I feel the texture below my hands? Maybe below the tops of the feet. What is the length of my breath? Can I lengthen the exhale out just a tad more? Good, and slowly you're gonna make your way back to either the table pose or you can curl those toes under, find a down dog. So same thing like we did on the very first side, just find the shape that you know, works best for you. You're gonna reach and stretch the left leg back behind you, bend the knee, open up the hip. Again, from table pose with your Right knee, if your right knee is down, you're just gonna make sure those elbows don't lock out, you're not cranking your neck. From down dog, you'll put a little bitty bend in the right knee, pull the outer right hip crease back. And more big inhale, lift the left knee higher. Good, exhale, 
left foot is gonna step through and then that right knee will come down. Curl your right toe under, bring the hands up on top of the left knee. You can always grab a blanket to go underneath that right knee if you need to. And then again, you're gonna engage that right gluteal muscle and then just very subtly lean forward into the front of the right hip and back. This one is kind of like a less is, is more kind of deal. Awesome. Just a couple more here. Good, and then find a neutral place and then just reach and stretch the arms up into just a low lunge to your eyes, shoulders, face relaxed. Go back to your breath in and out of your nose. Good. Bring your hands down to frame that left foot. Let's back hips up, wiggle the left heel down, pull the toes back towards the face again and fold. Do what you need to do to support those hands. Let the shoulders relax. Just breathing, nice, slow, steady breath. Good. Just a couple more breaths here. Start to bend back into your left knee. Bring those hands to the earth. Again, make your way down to your belly. Thumbs in line with your chest, shoulders on the back. Inhale, Cobra. Good, and then again, exhale back to your child's pose. So finding your child's pose and just going back into being. It's something we leave and we go. Slowing down, dropping into the senses a little bit more. So maybe feeling, just noticing your shins touching the earth, right? So subtle, subtle things, feelings of the knees touching the earth, elbows. And you send a little bit more breath into that upper back. Good. Take a big inhale, big exhale. Now this next thing, we're just gonna stay in a child's pose, but we're gonna stretch the sides of the body so you'll Start to walk your hands over towards the right side here. Keep your head between those arm bones and then find a place where your forehead can just rest to the floor again. So for some of you guys, that means that maybe you don't go as far over to the right just so that your head can still rest to the floor. And you wanna feel some stretching in that left outer armpit. So if you wanna just leave the left hand where it is, cool. If you want a little bit more, sensation you can gently place your left palm on top of your right palm so find where you want to be and then just take some breaths into left side body left rib cage left lung and feel the breath as it enters the side body awesome One more big one. Make your way to center and then resist the urge to go straight away to the other side. So pause in the center, eyes closed. Notice left side versus right side. So really sink again, awareness into the body. Good. And then you're gonna start to walk those hands off towards the left side. So same thing you did more than likely on the first side. If you want to take the right palm on top of left, go for it. But just make sure your forehead can touch down to the earth so you're not overdoing it. Some nice long breaths here. Awareness into the right side body. Again, feeling the ribs on the right side of the body just expand with a deeper breath.
Nice. And nice and slowly we're going to come again back to center forehead down and then just pause notice again right side versus left side good and then let's make our way back up into the either table or down dog so we're going to hang in one of the other shapes so if you're just hanging out there in table you're welcome to move through some cat cow if you're in down dog, just kind of hang, or you can bend one knee, bend the other knee. As you do that, you'll stretch opposite heel down to the floor. So just spending a little bit of time here in whatever shape that you have chosen to be in. Good. And then from whatever shape you've chosen to be in, we're gonna find a forward fold at the very front side of the mat. So you can step your way up there. If you're in table, you'll kind of have to get up and switch a little bit. But find the forward fold. So in your forward fold to avoid pulling on your low back, take your feet a little wider, bend your knees a little bit more. Let your back of your neck be nice and long. So we're in this really nice gentle inversion, head below the heart. What that really does is just asks the heart to slow down a little bit. It's a natural way, little way to get the heart to slow down. Awesome. And then when you're ready, let's inhale and just lengthen your torso. And then exhale to fold. And then press into your feet. Inhale, let's reach up, look up, stretch up. And then exhale, thumbs come right down to your heart, just standing into your feet, eyes resting closed. Feeling that change in temperature, pressure, all of that. Breathing deeply. Good. And then when you're ready, go ahead, open your eyes. Bring your hands down to your hips for balance. Press into your right foot and then step your left foot back into a crescent lunge, okay? So you're on the ball of the left foot. Your feet are hip width apart. You can leave your hands on your hips for more stability. Or if you would like to, you're gonna reach and stretch up. So very similar to the lunge that we did earlier. However, your left knee is off the floor. That being said, if you want to lower your left knee down, you're welcome to do that always. Good, we're gonna add a twist into this. So two ways you can twist. First way would be to take your left hand down, reach your right arm up. If you want something a little bit different, you can bring your hands into a prayer pose and then take that left elbow onto the right knee. Good, so just do whichever one feels best at any time that you want to or need to you can lower the left knee we're going to stay here for just a couple more breaths try to keep the neck long if you feel twisting happening in your back low back then back out a little bit one more breath wherever you are go ahead set those hands down on the floor now if your left knee is down, go ahead, lift it up. We're gonna step into pyramid pose. So your left heel will go all the way down. It'll probably have to come in a little bit. Right leg will straighten, hands down to the floor. Neck is nice and long. So again, if you need to grab some makeshift props, pillows or anything you have there at home to support those hands, go for it. Get that left heel down. Now your left toes are gonna to point about 30 degrees towards the front corner of your mat, most of you guys. And the stance will be a little bit shorter than that full lunge stance. Lengthen the neck. Let go of any tension that you're holding there. Shoulders, jaw. Good. One more nice deep breath. 
And then let's start to look at your right foot, bend the right knee a little bit, and then just step the left foot up to meet the right and then fold. So if it's comfortable and okay with your low back, you can hold opposite elbows and just gently sway. However, if that starts to put too much pressure on your low back, just hang in a regular forward fold with bent knees and widen your feet. Good, and I always say every time we show up to the mat, our body, we have a different body, right? We have, the cells in our body are constantly shifting by what we eat, how we sleep, emotional interactions, all of the things. So love and be with this body today. Your June or July 18th body. Skipped a month. Good. Relax the hands down if they're not already there. Inhale, lengthen your torso. Engage the core. Exhale, fold. Press into those feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up, reaching up. And then exhale, thumbs down to the heart. Eyes closed. Feeling difference in temperature, pressure, breath. Just giving yourself a moment. Nice. Let's bring the hands down to hips or waist for balance. Pressing into this time the left foot, pick up that right foot, step it back there into your lunge. So leaving your hands to hips or waist if you want a bit more stability. And then if you want to, reach and stretch the arms up. And again, you always have the option at any time to lower the right knee down. So just come into your, your crescent warrior lunge. Pressing back through the right heel. So you're on the ball of the right foot. Right heel is disappearing behind the toes. Outer left hip pulls back. One more nice deep breath, strong legs. And we're gonna move to that twist. So do the twist that you did on the first side. So some of you guys might simply drop that right hand down, reach the left arm up. If you did the prayer twist on the first side, again, do that here. If you dropped that back knee, once you moved into the twist, do that. So find your twist and then just breathe into it. Try to breathe down into your belly. Awesome. Hands come down to the floor. And then again, this time your right foot will come in a couple of footprints. Right heel will go all the way down. Left leg will straighten, but try not to lock it out and then find your fold. So again, pyramid pose. Straightening out left leg, breathing into the back of the left leg. Awesome. Giving yourself to soften, self permission to soften, permission to just be here. And breathe. One more nice deep breath. Let's go ahead, press into the left foot, a little bend in the left knee, right foot steps forward and just fold, hang, relax. You can, again, sway here gently or find some stillness. Good, and then drop those hands down. Inhale, lengthen your torso. Exhale, fold. And plant your palms, bend your knees. So let's walk back into a plank or a knee down plank, whichever one feels best, but keep your neck nice and long, either one. Good, and then lower to your belly. Thumbs in line with your chest. Inhale to Cobra. And then again, exhale back into Child's Pose. 
So here we are again. <laughs> Maybe the breath feels a little different this time. <clears throat> Maybe you shift your attention to diaphragmatic breathing, breathing all the way down to the belly this time. Good. And then when you're ready, let's come up to table pose, just cat cow a little bit here. Good. And then come to a neutral table. We're just going to take the right leg back behind you, flex through the right foot, step your right foot through into a lunge. And then you're going to bring your hands to the inside of that right foot. So lizard lunge. So this might be it. Okay. If you want a little bit more, you're going to wiggle the left knee back. So hands are to the inside of the right foot. You can also bring pillows, blankets, anything that you need to go underneath those hands. So big, deep stretch for the hips. Okay. And if you want to, you can flex your right foot, bring your knee out to the side. You can also lower down onto your forearms if you want to do that. Just adds a little element there. Good. So your lizard lunge today as it is. Good, nice deep breath. Relax shoulders, face, and jaw. Just a couple more breaths here. Nice. Let's bring the right foot in between your hands and then we'll go back to baby Hanuman. So hands down, wiggle the hips back, flex that right foot and fold. Nice counter pose here. And then revisiting the shape because we did this earlier. Can you find a different dimension here? So maybe feeling just simply the texture below that right heel, feeling that against the floor. Feeling just like if you make a subtle little tweak, like pulling your right hip back, how that changes the shape a bit. And the breath just continues to slow those exhales nice and long. Good. And then when you're ready, bend into the right knee, hands come to the floor. And we'll just move the spine here through a little cat-cow. As you move through cat-cow, really feel, notice the difference between right hip and left hip. Good. Making your way back to table pose, you'll reach and stretch the left leg back behind you, flex through left foot, and then go ahead and step your left foot through between your hands you'll move into your lizard shape here so hands to inside of left foot you can wiggle the right knee back a little bit if you want to you can flex the left foot come to the side of the foot just kind of find whatever you did on that very first side and don't always feel like you have to do the hardest version of the pose again just Meet this body that's here with you today. And be there. Lengthen out those exhales. Good, one more breath. Bring the left foot back to the floor slowly. Wiggle your left heel into the center and then back into the hamstring stretch, baby Hanuman. So hands down, neck long. And again, try to find on this side, perhaps a different dimension within the shape. Is something that you did not notice before. Maybe if you pull your left pinky to toe edge, side of that left foot back just ever so slightly, noticing how that changes everything. And then adjusting 
Tension in the shoulders, neck, and face. Good, one more breath here. Let's bend into left knee. Bring those hands down to the floor and then just lower all the way down onto the belly. We're gonna do two little back bends here on the belly. First one is cobra. So thumbs right there in line with your pectoral muscles, palms spread wide to the floor, tops of feet down to the earth, shoulders on the back, inhale, cobra. Good, you don't have to come up anywhere near as high as I'm coming here. And exhale, lower. One more back bend. Bring your hands beside your hips, palms facing down. And then inhale, lift your legs. Stay here with just the legs lifted. Or if you wanna lift those arms and chest up off the floor, you could do that too. Five breaths here. Not my favorite pose in case you're wondering. <laughs> but so, so good for your back, I promise. Three more breaths. One more. Awesome. Lower down, back into a child's pose. Forehead to the earth. Last child's pose today, unless you want to do one later, <laughs> which is fine. <clears throat> Wonderful and encouraged. Just drop into a child's pose whenever you need to. No one will think it's weird. All right, take a big inhale, hold the breath in. And a big exhale. <sighs> nice. So let's slowly come up and then we're just going to move on to the back. A couple little things on the back before we move into relaxation. So once you come onto your back, go ahead and bend your knees and just hug those knees yeah. into the chest. So you can just hold the knees in and be still, or if you just kind of naturally start rocking a little bit, you can do that. Good. Just kind of do what feels best for your body here today. Nice. And then when you're ready, let's keep the right knee hugging in and extend that left heel all the way out onto the floor. So if that bothers your back, you can just take your left foot to the floor, bending the left knee, okay? So just do whichever works best for you. So left heel extended, as long as that's okay for your back, go ahead, do that, or foot on the floor. Pull that right knee up towards the armpit. You can flex that left foot a little bit to get the left heel down. Nice deep breath here. And then you're gonna take your left hand to the right knee, bring your right arm out beside you, palm facing open, and then you're gonna roll over onto that left hip. So nice twist here. And then if you want a little opening for the shoulder, you're gonna keep the right palm on the floor. However, you're gonna drag that palm up a little bit towards 12 o'clock, just until you kind of reach the desired stretch. Don't feel like you have to overdo it, but that'll kind of get into that pectoral muscle there, open that up. Start to let your exhales lengthen a bit here. Awesome. Good. And when you're ready, go ahead and roll onto your back for a moment. So it'll feel awkward. Let both legs come out, heels drop down, toes flop open, palms to the ceiling just for a minute here. Just really notice all that asymmetry starting at your toes, moving to knees and hips, how different it feels from side to side. Just different. Doesn't have to be good or bad. Just different. 
Notice and contrast. Nice. And then when you're ready, go ahead and pull those knees back into your chest nice and tightly. And then you may feel called to kind of move around here or you may feel more comfortable just being still. Good. This time, left knee hugs in towards left armpit, right heel extends out. Again, you may choose to just let that right heel rest to the floor. You can also bend the right knee, bring the right foot down. The low back is going to be your temperature gauge. The things we kind of just don't mess with are low backs or knees. Good, slow the breath down. Awesome, bring your right hand to the left knee, left arm, left hand out. And then you're gonna roll onto the right hip. You can bring the knee down and then with your left arm, do what's right. So you might just leave it right out there beside you or you might choose to leave the palm open towards the ceiling, back of the palm touching the floor, and then you drag the thumb up towards 12 o'clock to your desired opening, desired stretch to get into that pectoral area. Get a nice deep breath. Awesome. When you're ready, let's slowly shift on to the back. Again, heels just dropping down, toes flopping open for a moment. Starting from toes up to knees and hips, feeling the asymmetry there. Good. And then one more little squeeze of the knees into the chest. So just go ahead and pull those knees right on in. Make any other little final movements you want to, any rocking, stretching out the back, any happy baby or variation thereof. Go ahead and do that. Give yourself permission to explore. Or if you're ready to just stretch on out to Shavasana, go for it. If you want to move your body up into a chair or onto the couch, then feel free to do that also. Start to find that place for your body to just relax and breathe here in and out of your nose. You can just slow down a bit. Now, Settle into a breathing pattern that feels best for you. It may be just kind of like the one that we had when we first began where your inhales were equal to your exhales. It could be an exhale that's a couple counts longer or even double your inhale. Just move more towards that restorative place. Allowing yourself to be in that rest mode. Good. And then starting at the very, very top of your head, crown of your head, just feeling that little subtle warmth there as you breathe in, the warmth just settling up the very top of your head and as you breathe out feeling that warmth kind of sliding down the face the shoulders the whole body down to the toes and then the inhale feeling the inhale starting at the toes going all the way up the legs the spine to the top of head 
And then exhale that wave of warmth, just spreading over the forehead, face, the whole body. Allowing yourself to be with and feel these waves of energy, just your breath, inhaling, starting at toes, gliding up the spine to the very top of the head. Exhale, warmth and softness, face, jaw, whole body down to the toes. And as you settle into that pattern of inhale and exhale, progressively and slowly scan the body little by little, allowing for tension to just release, for stress to just go. Starting at the forehead, just broadening the forehead, letting it completely relax, eyes falling back into the head, cheekbones relaxing, the jaw unclenching, the back of the head resting there naturally into the earth, the back of the neck resting there on the earth. The spine, upper back, resting there. The shoulders completely relaxing into the earth. Elbows nice and heavy. Forearms relaxed. Hands letting go of all tension there, just softening all the way down into the fingertips. The chest and the heart space, nice, open, soft, and relaxed, able to receive. The rib cage just gently expanding, letting go of all hardness there. Just nothing but softness there in the rib cage, very center of the body, the belly. Down to the hip bones, the tops of the hips, and settling into pelvis. The low back, letting the whole torso just melt into the earth and top of the head down to the base of the pelvis, letting the earth hold your body, the torso. Moving to the thighs, letting go of all tension held there in the thighs, just if you could Almost just release them down into the earth so like they could just fall right through, all through the floor. Backs of the knees, the kneecaps, nice and relaxed. The shin bones, calf muscles, and any tension that you feel there, giving the body permission to release it as you go through and notice. Heels dropping down, toes flopping open. The soles of the feet, again, receiving that gentle warmth of letting go of being And those waves of energy as you breathe, again, inhaling, starting at the bottoms of the feet, going all the way up the spine to top of head. Exhaling, moving down back through the spine, down to the toes. Your body just relaxing here into the earth, really letting yourself just be held. You're ready, taking a big inhale in through your nose. Long, slow exhale. And just some nice, gentle movements, wiggling fingers, wiggling toes, maybe a big stretch through arms and legs. Eventually bending knees, maybe hugging knees into chest. 
rolling over onto your favorite side. And then finding your way up to a nice comfortable seat, very top here, just allowing yourself to sit for a final moment here in this place. Bringing palms together, letting thumbs rest right at heart center. And maybe revisiting that intention you set for your, your practice today that perhaps just established in being, right? Don't worry about the action. It'll come when it's supposed to. One of my teachers always says, don't worry about knowing the answer to everything, the why, when you're supposed to know, you'll know. Just know that that is how it works when you are established in being. Sailing off your practice so that this feeling is there later when you need it. Taking a big inhale, holding the breath in. And opening the mouth, exhaling. Enjoy the quan. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for coming and practicing today. It was lovely to have all of you. Thank you. And